Podcast City Network. And good evening once again, fans. You're listening to the Death Metal Podcast. They're more than welcome to come on to anytime they want to come on. Oh man, those girls pop good like Alright. It's a budget thing. Let's see where he's up to. Thank you, man, and thank you for giving me the time. Tune in right now. And good evening, everyone. You're listening to another episode of the Death Match Russell Podcast. We're live on Facebook and Twitch tonight on Podcast City Network's homepage. And, of course, Death Match Russell Podcast, every social media link, it's out there. Check this out tonight. My guest, the one and only full-time boss. What's going on, guys? What's going on? How's everybody What's going on, man? We've been playing this for a couple for a while now. Yes, yes. And my schedule just, just begin busier and busier, which I'm happy about. But I'm happy to put this together tonight for you guys. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Guy. Absolutely, big things coming up. Absolutely, so much coming up this week. But we'll get right into it, man. We'll. Ooh, look at this layout. Check that out. That is sharp. <laughs> Let's do it. This is awesome. All right. So Let's anyway, you uh, let me get back to my little memo memo notes here. Uh, you're and, all good, uh, bro. So, um, Christian, uh, let me start off by. What got you started with H2O? Um, me and my buddy, well, first of all, I'm going to start off like this. Um, okay. I was a fan just like anybody else. On the other side of the guardrail, always enjoyed the shows. Um, buddy took me to a CZW show back in, like, you now I'm giving my age, back in 2008. Mm-hmm. Um, Ruckus was the world champion, and them guys, they were killing it down there at the ECW arena. Um, mm-hmm. Always liked it, always enjoyed it. Um me and my friends, um, we just never knew, like, what our next step was to get in. Um, so, like, as we got older, a couple of buddies of us was like, hey, you know, uh, let's do a little backyard wrestling and just have fun with it. Um, so we hit Matt Tremont up when he first bought the arena. We was like, hey, can we, like, do, like, a little show there? He's like, yeah, come on. Come on in and do a little show there. So we did a little show. Um, after the show, Matt was like, listen, man, I just got this place. Um, my back one. All right, good. Matt was like, I just got this place. I'm opening my school up. Um, and he had a couple guys he drink, interested in. I was mm-hmm. one of them. And that's where the ball got rolling from there. Sweet, man. CZW, man. You know, you know, me, I, I've been to many of the CZW shows. I still go here and there and I'm going to be going a lot more pretty soon. We got a, I'm looking at the best of the best is coming up, actually. I'm looking forward to that. Their shows are getting really, really, really good and really interesting, too, man. Yeah. yeah look at what them guys are doing over there. There's a lot of good talent there. There is. There is. And again, get ready. Uh, I'm just seeing our guys, you know, a lot of our guys that we know, Joe Gacy and a lot of the guys, they're going to be, they're actually heading to uh, uh, UK, uh, Germany, yeah. or, yeah, right? UK or Germany. I forgot. Yeah. They're hitting over, they're hitting overseas. Uh, funny yeah. you mentioned Joe. Me and Joe are actually buddies. I knew Joe for like 10 years now. Yeah. Uh, we're like really, really cool friends. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's awesome. Me, him, like Stan, like AJ Crucio, like we all knew each other like ten years ago. Yeah, and uh, it was just great to have that relationship now when you're in the business too. Well, as well, it goes a long way. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. Yeah, so they're doing big things, and it's gonna be awesome. It's, yeah, yeah. You know, check that out and fight TV because it's gonna be out there. Oh yeah, absolutely. But, <laughs> it, it is. It's gonna be lit. But best of the best is always there. You know, we like that's a competition, man. It's oh a comp- yeah. And, you know, every year, it's different talent comes in. Yeah, yeah. You never know. You never know who you might say. Wink, wink. <laughs> yes. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah. Wink. You never know. True. You, ne- true. you never know. <laughs> true. 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 I mean, I just saw something I was reading. I was just reading the last, the, the next card that they're bringing back, CZW, uh, the 21st, I think. Uh, Lucky Lucky 13, actually. I, so, I see that. Him and Connor Claxton, right? Yes, awesome. surprise! That's right there in itself to have that guy back in CZW, which is definitely going to be a treat for that audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fans didn't know, but I actually had you know when I had Lucky on, he spoiled. Yeah, that's right, he did. He, he did. spoiled it. He's he's like, oh, so I'm, gonna, I'm coming back to. It. It's I, hard okay. to keep these things in. Sometimes we know these things weeks in advance, but it's hard to keep these things in like that. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, but you have to be like, quiet, though. Right? You know. Uh, let me see. Uh, that, 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 I'm gonna throw something here. What do you got? First match. First My first match was against uh, Kid Osborne. <laughs> oh, uh, Kid uh, Osborne. 
Kid Osborne, it, it was a fun match, too, because me going into my first match, yeah. I wanted to be a heel. And I knew already Kid Osborne was a shit-talking heel. So I'm like, hey, if I can go out first, get my shit over, get these people to fucking hate me, by the time Kick comes out, they're going to want to see Kick kick my ass. And yeah. um, it, the match went over really well. We had the crowd involved in it. For them not knowing who I was, um, really good match. Uh, beat me at a roll-up uh, out of nowhere. Um, match went really good. Match went really well. Uh, cool guy outside the business as well. Mm -hmm. As for me, as a fan of, you know, as the H2O, you know, and going to all these shows, Christian, I've actually, really, have I seen you wrestle? Yes. Have I not? No. I don't mm -hmm. know if I, like, really, like, in the beginning of it. Not really. I yeah, think. in the very beginning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I, I really wish I, I was there. I started transitioning over more now on, like, main roster shows and um, yes. doing the bigger events. Because um, you got to lay the groundwork in. You got to, you got to. Earn your stripes, pay your dues. Uh, you yeah. got to work from the ground up, you know. Nothing's given with Matt, you know what I mean? He'll give you yep. the opportunity as long as you go out there and take it, though. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The platform is there. He just wants you to go out and reach and take it. Mm. Yeah, because you were a student. You were the, I mean, when you first started there, you were a student, you know. Yeah, I was a student, and my first three months I got a debut, so I think that's what's remarkable. I'm hearing students are like 15, 15 months in, a year and a half in, and, and having debuted or did anything, so I'm like, Wow, if I can, I debuted in three months. I'm like, I, he had to see something. The guy that's been yes. in the business for that many years to uh -huh. see something. I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, because I we just saw the uh, I saw the video promo of uh, uh, was it uh, uh, Mitch Valentine and uh, Cannibal versus uh, mm -hmm. what's his name? Um, uh, uh, GG and Big Red, and them guys have yes, been G working hard, and mm -hmm. them guys are actually. Um, Really, the first established tag team to come out of the students, and um, them guys have been busting their asses, uh, been at training, working their asses off, and them guys definitely deserve an opportunity to see what they can do. And if yeah. they can just sneak one, one over, one pin over, that brings these guys from here to here. And if they can go against you, oh yeah, sure, you know, oh yeah, they can come against me anytime they want. <laughs> These hands right here is just looking at the top of body now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because how tall how tall are you? You're about I'm six uh, three. Six three. Man, yeah, I'm five three. three. I'm now five. here's the funny part though. Six three. I, I don't know if you got uh you guys familiar with Lou Bruno from Pro Wrestling Magic? Uh I probably don't. I probably he, don't. He's about seven foot tall. Um yeah. great guy. Um mm -hmm. great worker too. And I had to wrestle that guy about three months ago. And that's like actually besides Micro I mean Micro is probably like an inch bigger than me. Mm -hmm. But that guy towered over me. He was, like, legit seven foot. And I, I had to wrestle a seven foot guy. So now I see what these guys are when they wrestle me. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. It's like we see, um, oh, who the hell is it? Who's the big guy? Oh, um, oh, Chucky Payne. Chucky Chuck Payne, exactly. Dude. Exactly. Exactly. You have to switch your style up against that guy, too. And um, yeah, it's great because Chuck's all. Even though you see Chuck on the shows, Chuck's at training, busting yeah. his ass, working his ass off, and, um, Chuck's a great talent and a great person too, as well. Absolutely, yeah. That guy's a, he's a he's a machine. Like yeah, like he's yeah. just he, Chuck's a monster. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a future somewhere. We could, oh we, somewhere, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. he's got a check waiting for him. <laughs> but after he takes you on, though, no. awesome. Ooh. Oh man, I'm waiting for it. Chucky knows it. <laughs> Chucky, bring it right. Bring it. I'm gonna bring it. <laughs> but yeah, man. So many so many people we see have actually you know, like like growing now in that company. That's good. Yeah, yeah. H2O. Just remember, it was just a little tiny little seed. The engine that, that could go, yeah. <laughs> the little seeds that they planted there, you know. When exactly. H2O first started, it was just like, okay, they're going to give these kids, a, they're going to give you you guys a microphone, mm -hmm. and, you know, do your first promo, mm -hmm. kind of promo. Um, and get out and learn for yourself, basically, over there. And then the cool part about it is Matt gives you the platform um, mm -hmm. to succeed. Gives you the opportunity to go out there and see if you can hang with the big boys, and that's what you've been doing for me, and I like it so far. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I love it. Uh, best match. Ooh. Oh, man. See, that's a hard one. I had a lot of really good matches that I really enjoyed. Um, How about I, this? How about this? Let me, let, me, let me throw something out there. Like, good. If, okay. In, in, in any industry of wrestling, okay. your, your, your dream opponent would be if you had oh, a right now, if I just had to go off a bucket list guy, that would say we can give you a five star match tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, eight in the morning. Me and AR Fox, without wow. a doubt. Me and Foxy would kill it all over the place. The big guy, little guy with the flips and shit. Mm -hmm. And the crazy part about this is like the bigger the bigger crowd doesn't know that I can do moonsaults and shit yet too. So I think our oh. big little guy shit would be so good 
so yeah. talented. I think that match would be so great, and we would do so much shit. I think that's definitely my number one bucket list guy without without a doubt. Yeah, take take him to. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, I can see you guys going on an evolve show or. Uh, oh yeah, exactly, you know. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Without a doubt. That that'd be a uh, oh, sight set on something. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. There they doubt. are. It's gonna shit. happen one day. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Ah, your favorite person to work with. Um, I had a lot of people that was really good, really yeah. good to work with. Um, two I can name on top of my head that I personally learned from. One was Devin Moore. Been around the business forever. He's really been around since around guy. I, I grew up watching him. Like it's insane. He's like, insane. He can do pretty yeah. much everything. He's wrestled everybody. He's been everywhere. Um, had a good match with him. Great match with him. Definitely one person. Uh, another person I learned from. Uh, one in particular because we were pretty much the same size was. Uh, Mike Orlando, I learned a, a ton from him, like from Mike before the match, oh, during yeah. our match, and then after the match, I learned so much from that guy mm -hmm. um, because we were kind of the same size, same build. Um, right. But I take a little bit from everybody that I wrestle, register it up in my head, add it to my own twist, and just keep rocking and rolling. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, favorite H two O moment? Ooh, we're going H two O. Clear H O mode has to be Fight TV. I mean, you go on yes. Fight TV, you go from you know two hundred people, three hundred people seeing you in the local area to now thousands here, people in overseas, people over the UK seeing me, people in California seeing me, people in Florida seeing me. So now it's like you go from this little bubble to this huge Fight bubble. Fight TV and uh, the other the other app now also uh, I W T V as well. I W T V yeah. 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 So them two platforms right there is, is always going to be a huge moment for me because it yeah. goes from this bubble seeing me to this bubble seeing me. It's just been. That's it's just. Been awesome TV is, uh, you know, it's, it's the go. Is the really like people. That's get, the real deal. You're on pay per view. You're live on pay per view. Live, like I'm live. live at every show. Christian, yeah. Christian, and and not only know? that, but though the the fight TV pay per view I did, not only was the crowd. Like yeah. sitting in their seats, but they're on the ring for that yeah. last paper, a subterranean paper. Race. So that was even better for me. I was, I, I, was, I, was, I was right there in front of them. Yeah. You know? Hey, I love it. I love it. I love crowd interaction. Then you're right there on the action. I love it. I want to make sure, like, here's my slaps, here's my punches, here's yeah. my moves, put it in. I love it. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a cool, it's, and it gives us hype for you guys. Oh, yeah. I, it gets you so hype. hype. It gets you so hype. Even before you go out, you're watching the monitor screens in the back of the fight TV guy setting up. And yeah. you're seeing that they're live, and you're watching the viewers. And then you go out, and then you hear that crowd. It's just an amazing moment. Yeah, it's a moment. It's a moment that we need to keep going, and it's going to go Absolutely. forever. Absolutely. 2020 is the year for fight, everyone. And we don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. That is going to be – they're going to be – actually, we might as well start – we might as well say it now. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, March, 14, uh, March 14th. March 14th. Yeah, hardcore right back there for four. Uh, IWTV, I believe, for this one. Yes. Um, it's going to be a, a tournament. It's going to be good. It's going to be a lot of blood. It's going to be a lot of hard correction. Um, and I, I bet you there's still another ma couple matches that need to be announced that you guys will see soon. <laughs> but not that only. We're going to be seeing March 7th. Oh, yeah. Let's get this going. Let's talk Let's about get it. it going right now. Let's because, go. Because uh, Stan really wants us to blow this out of the water. Oh, we are. It's we're talking about the st sizzling Stan Styles. Oh, man. The number five, intergender. Yes. Intergender yes. five. And, and this show and guess means... who's in it? Who's in it? You tell me. You got to plug it. You're plugging the man right now. I'm looking at the man right now. The full-time boss. Live. You're not just plugging who's in it. You're plugging... Boss. Listen, what you don't know, what he doesn't know is you're looking at the first intergender Fernandez champion of this whole thing. It's a reason that Stan, Stan Lee Styles announced me last. I'm the man, the full-time boss. And not only that, intergender Bonanza, number one, I was on the other side of the guardrail. Number five, not only do I debut, but I'm in the main event for the world title. And I get yeah. to bring the world title home and be the real boss of the Bonanza. Yeah. Wait till my dad sees that. I can't wait to bring him. He's coming. Wait till Stan sees that, actually. Stan thinks he's the boss of the Bonanza. He knows who's the boss. Yeah, it's 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 going to be a really cool. It's going to be really a lot of car, a lot of a lot of female talent, a lot of male talent that we. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's the first time ever. It's going to be fifteen women, fifteen males in the same match, Royal Rumble style. Yeah. Every few minutes, a new person comes out. 
you just never know who you're going to see out there. So you got to expect the unexpected as well. Did you ever do a Royal Rumble before? Did you ever do a Rumble before? I was going to say. I did a Rumble before, and um, I came in about number 10, and I landed to the final two. Guy held the ropes and pulled me over. You know, cheating aspect. I'm prepared this time for Mm. the Bonanza. So it's going to be a little bit different. It is. It is. It's, and it's I'm excited. I like stakes on the line for this. You know what? Rumbles are always a fun time because you. Oh, they're always gonna, gonna be great. It, 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 it makes us feel great. like we're like at an old WWF event or a WWE event. You know, exactly. We're watching, exactly. We're watching <laughs> WCW. You know, we're just gonna be like it's all go for all. You know, go for all. You never, you never know what the matchups are gonna be in there. Too. you never know when I'm gonna come out, who I'm gonna be up against when I come out in there. You never know who might show their face there. It's been in another bonanza from before too. That That's you're true. Out there with as well, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm just expecting the unexpected at this point. Yeah, yeah, and I think there's a, a couple female that are uh, making their debut. Also, um, uh, what do we have? Zoe Sky, Zoe yeah. Sky, and uh, uh, Ray Lynn. If I'm mm-hmm. correct, I think they're yeah. wrestling Stan and Cross. Yes. 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 That, that's going to be a dynamite match. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Stan and Cross are going to pull out all the tricks for the females in that tag match. And I know they're going to go and probably win that match. Yeah. I'm going to say Stan's, before I got there, was the boss of the Bonanza. I'm sure Stan knows what he has to do to advance and make his number later in the Rumble order to win that match. I think Drew Blood's in that, too. I saw Drew, Drew Blood. Blood yeah, Drew Blood's been in a lot of them, too. And Drew Blood, that's a guy you can't forget about either yeah. because him and Devin Moore, when they started yes. together, came up Nation together. Intoxication. I don't know, for years and years of dedication. Yeah, that's a guy <laughs> right there. That's definitely going to be hard to get out because this guy's been in many rumbles, many matches with many people, and, and Drew Bloods is a phenomenal athlete as well. Mm-hmm. And, and here's a funny aspect, too. Before I ever debuted, Drew Blood was coming to training, which mm-hmm. would not um, helping the guys out with the show guys. <coughs> Me and Drew Blood have never stepped in the ring at the same time together. Live. And you can see it at the Bonanza, hopefully, if he's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? Ooh, yeah. God. But there's other guys in the way, too. So <laughs> Yeah, some... there's other guys in the way, too. I mean, we have guys. We got a, we got a, drunk, we got a drunk wrestler coming in. I don't know. It's, 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 it's going to be, it's gonna be yeah. bananas. Stan likes things, uproar, crazy, yeah. um, insane. It's going to be one insane event. Uh, I don't think this has ever happened anywhere. 15 men, 15 females. Mm-hmm. Um, clash in, in a Royal Rumble for the title anywhere. So no. this show right here, we're spoiled. It's a show the shows could be at without a center of doubt. We're gonna be spoiled. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. be you guys are gonna be in for a treat to sit back and relax. <laughs> Absolutely. That is March seventh, guys, at the H two O Arena. Stand, but Stan Styles intergender Bonanza number five, where the boss wins the championship. Ooh. So you got oh, something put up this week too, don't you? Uh, Saturday. Yeah, I do. Um, I got rope to rope this week. Uh, it's in South Philly, my home city. Um, Toll Man Joe's. It's an afternoon show, which is pretty cool. Um, I can go whip Chris Bradley's ass, slap him around for a little bit. There you go. Um, drink a couple beers, go home, watch AEW, chill out for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun show. There's a lot of people down there. The Patriot and them guys are down there. Um, Black Jesus will be down there. Stand to be down there. Uh, Kit Osborne to be down there. It's going to be um, Jam Pack Show, Matt Tremont, Stockade. Mm-hmm. They're going to brawl it out. It, yeah, it's going to. We're bringing action to South Philly in yeah. the afternoon on a Saturday at a bar. <laughs> so that, you can't beat that. You, you that's going to be going beat, on. You can't beat that. I'm up for it too because any show that's in South Philly, right around the corner from my house, I can't wait to get my hands on somebody and slap them around. Mm-hmm. So I'll be waiting for that. <laughs> Damn, two hours in Casanova's bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Casanova's the man, too. We got the same name. So Shout out to him, man. Cool. He's cool. Big thanks for that guy. He's everywhere. We know oh, it. Man. He's, he's killing it. One of the top death match wrestlers in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. What else do I got on our list of goody questions tonight? Um, Actually, what do you think of W? What do you think of AEW? I mean, you like it? I, I like I like EW. Don't give me no spoilers on the um yesterday WWE's paper because I didn't see yet, so we won't go there. But um AEW, um, I like it a lot. I like what they're doing there. It's a different flavor, you know. It's more of that indie flavor, that more of that in your face, uh, mm-hmm. cool style wrestling flavor. Yeah. Um, it gives me another opportunity to have a job somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of my friends already work there. 
Yes, you know, people that we have a lot of training with already company. work there. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. that's cool in that avenue. And then seeing people like um, like Joey just coming back and do GCW and wrestle Jordan, and he's under contract, six figure contract for AEW. Like that's that's awesome. They let you do that. You're working one day a week. You're not away from your family. Like it's like cool. Uh, that's like super yeah. cool. And fans, you know what I mean? Like, and fans don't know this, but fans, uh, you know what? This WrestleMania weekend, you know, coming up, uh, Joey Janela's uh, spring break, uh, right? Collection. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to be uh, actually Joey Joey Janela and uh, or no? Is he no? Is he in that match with? Yeah. He, oh no, Luchasaurus. No. Have, no. No. Luchasaurus no. Luchasaurus in that. I think. Joey's going. To, I want to say Joey's going a different direction. I don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. want to say Young Dub and Broken them. They're going against Luchasaurus and uh, Marco yeah, yeah. and um, they're in trouble. Let's just yeah. see. I Let's want to see. say Joey's going to go Will Osprey way. I just want to say that. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm pretty really... sure that's the route that Brett and crew is going to go. So yeah, I'm looking forward uh, to seeing what they do down there because yeah. them guys at GCW really putting the work and uh, definitely killing it right now, man. Definitely yeah, what do you think? Work. I was going to say, what do you like? What do you think of the uh, product of GCW? Oh, I love the product of GCW. It's definitely something I, love it, I want to work for. Without a doubt. Without a center of doubt. All, all the best of the best guys are there. Mm-hmm. Top deathmatch wrestlers, top wrestler wrestlers are there. Um, one of the most notable independent com- uh, companies in the world. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you want to go get your shit off. You want to go show people who you are. GCW, without a doubt, is one of the biggest platforms and places to be right now. Without a doubt. Just think how many WrestleMania. Well, how many WrestleManias they've done already? Shit. Yeah, they control yeah. the WrestleMania weekend. It seems like you know, that spring do. break is like what everybody wants to come see. Mm-hmm. And there's like a knockoff GCW company that tries. To I've seen that. I've seen what? that. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> Why are they pushing the envelope? Yeah, I don't like, know, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay yeah, away, it like it's the promoters thinking if you can't join them, mock them. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. It could be a good guy. Don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Cornette's involved with him. Maybe so, you know. Maybe so. I'll tell G River to show up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Chip Cornette and yeah, G River will go at it. <laughs> Finally. Oh man, wouldn't that be the match? <laughs> GCW would book that too. I believe it. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! Inside the hard work cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I can see that being a spring break too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Shout out to our friend G River fans. <clears throat> You know, really talks about him a lot. He's a great guy. Great, awesome guy. He's always he's playing in the comeback. locker room. Um, he's, he's making his comeback. He's who you see, yeah. He's making his comeback. Um, I definitely stronger wish him the best. Stronger than ever. Yeah, know? without a doubt. He'll, you'll see him soon. Mm-hmm. You'll see him soon. As well as our friend Marcus Crane. You know. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. It was good to see pictures of him in Lake City, Marcus Crane. Mm-hmm. Um, good to see after you know the, the surgery with the brain, everything that. Yeah, you know, he's he's recuperating, and, and that's what we want to see. If any wrestler goes through any injury, we want to see them. Wish them the best, and yeah. uh, hope wish that they... my, Also, we want to wish John Lee Murdoch a quick, speedy recovery. He's, he's got a match coming up too with his partner that was just announced at um the last show that we were at. Um, oh, sweet. Were you, you know, guys at One Point Show? Yes, I was. Sweet. I was that pretty... same night, I had to do Magic Pro Wrestling Magic in New York. Did you? Yeah, yeah. So that same night, I did Magic, um, mm-hmm. which was a cool experience over there, too. Uh, Mike Magic's Black and Bush awesome. and them guys were over there. Um, a lot of good people I met over there at that company. Um, How was it? How was the car? Good. Oh, the car was awesome, man. The car yeah. was really good. Uh, funny thing about the car is um, Jordan and them did On Point. They wrestled after our match or whatever. They did On Point. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but they did Pro Wrestling Magic first. Had to shoot the On Point. <laughs> right. Yeah, so it was cool seeing people that's like doing a double shot and like how it works out and stuff like that. That was cool. Um, everybody in that locker room was super cool. Steve Off runs a great, Coast runs a great show. Mm-hmm. Um, super cool talent over there. Uh, very respectful and great setup. That's awesome, fans. So check them out if you're in the area. Mm-hmm. And have a magic show because uh, you know we support any company like always. You know, absolutely. You know, independent wrestling is where it's at. We, we, we're we're spoiled. Yeah, Hell yeah, we're spoiled. <laughs> Especially we, our region. I feel like our region's super spoiled right now. What do you uh, think about WrestleMania weekend? Where are you gonna be? Where are you gonna be? Are you gonna be in Tampa? See, that's the question right now. I don't know yet because H two O is my home. Yes, uh, uh, I'm hoping to be there. I've worked for Synergy before. I've worked for Sean Show before. There's a couple debuting shows like Shocky Show that's gonna be really good. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I, I may I'm be home. I'm staying but, around. I'm staying around. Yeah, so I may be home. I'm right down 50-50 on exactly where I'm going to be at for that because there's so much stuff going on everywhere. But, I uh, think we should just plug the fight TV on the wall and watch you all at the shows. Yeah, right, man. It's going to be uh, it's, it's going to be, be chaos enough. that weekend, too. It's going to be crazy, man. A lot of good, a lot of good matches are going to happen, too, man. Like. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of good matches too. Synergy's running there. Synergy's an awesome company too. Yeah, Sean, Sean shows are always really good as well. Sean, I know. I yeah. missed one of the shows. I missed the weekend of Bernie, the weekend at Sean's show. I missed that one. Okay. Yeah. I did his very first one, Sean's day off. I did that one. Yeah. Really often, nothing feeds and Bradley in a four way. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of fun. Went out, and killed it, man. Killed each other. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. We'll be yeah, on we'll definitely. You know, that's coming uh, April. It's WrestleMania weekend. Mm -hmm. Not busy. If you're not doing anything, go down to Williamstown, New Jersey. Fully stocked cards. Like, Big they're going to have, yeah, surprise shows. We don't know who's going to come in. Like, there's a lot of stuff on the rise for WrestleMania weekend in New Jersey at the Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What else we got brewing? Um, shit. Let's see here. So, other companies. What other companies have you done work for? In the past? Oh man, let me just tell you about my first year. Yeah. Um, I got to go in order to try to remember at this point. <laughs> um, I debuted at Synergy. Great company. I love Synergy. I love Colin West and what them guys are doing over there. Colin West is the man. Shout out to him. <laughs> Colin West is the man. They're building a great foundation over there. Really yeah. awesome company. Um, I actually debuted at CZW as well. I worked the mm -hmm. Law Memorial Show. Uh, the way them guys do it over there, they're the real deal. DJ and the guys, they Dave. everything in the back. They got a double ring in the back. Like it's mm -hmm. just the setup is awesome. Um, the way their guys are all trained and put together, CZW is definitely a real deal. Um, I've worked for a couple of promotions too. I worked for EYSW. That was out in Pittsburgh. Um, I worked staying out there actually. And the cool thing about that promotion was the promoter actually called me down and he wanted me to do a skit with the the Godfather, W Hall of Famer. And I was like, all right, awesome, cool. Yeah. You know, I'll go in there, do my little skit with the Godfather, um, cut my promo, got a whole minute on the mic with the Godfather from WWE. That's an awesome workout moment, right? Yeah, yeah. And then Stan set our match up and then we go out and do our shit. You know, awesome. Pittsburgh. Debut in Pittsburgh. Then I debut with Stan, me and Bradley versus Stan and Cross and West Virginia, where the first Bonanza was at. Mm. So me going there to the hotel where they had the first Bonanza at, like Stan vs. Joey Ryan, the first one, was like a cool moment. And then I go there and wrestle him there. And like yeah. the people love him there. And like that was awesome. Definitely awesome. Uh, Joey Ryan, he's a good guy. Real Joey Ryan's entertainer. In <laughs> we know it. And he, yeah. By what we see, and <laughs> Joey Ryan's the man. And then I did, um, yeah. I did, I did two super crazy shows in South Philly. Mm -hmm. Which I always like because it's in South Philly, right on the corner from my house. Uh, then um, Matt Tremont actually brought me up to Excite Wrestling in Upper State, New York, and it was like over 300, 400 fans there. And not only did I get to do the opening match in a hot ass four way, but I got to go in the main event and save Matt Tremont in a steel cage match, which oh, was wow. fucking awesome. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. The crowd's lit there. The production team's amazing. What them guys are doing, it's fucking crazy. It's inside a mall. Which is absolutely outrageous and sick. Like that was amazing. Yeah, yeah, I saw the videos of that. I was like, damn, that's it's insane. Yeah, not as yeah. not as insane as that one guy did that flip off the freaking. You see that one? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. My yeah. God. I'm like Jesus Christ. This guy is one second from Weaver killing himself, or one second from going viral. Like that's insane. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Big props to whoever did that. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. People do. So, yeah, my pro wrestling career has been going good, especially since I'm yeah. literally just. February was my one year, so now I'm going in officially my first year is over. So now I get to go into 2020, kick some ass, and everything I learned from year one, I transferred over to year two and just get smarter with everything and um, work harder with everything and more opponents, new challenges, new companies, new people to fight, new matchups. Like, I can't wait for this year to keep going. What do you uh... – as a kid growing up, who 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 inspired you? Uh, I have so many of them. You yeah. can go from Macho to to Ultimate Warrior to like Brock Lesnar, like you know what I mean? Because you can see my wrestling style now. So it, it goes from a kid to like loving like Warrior and like Savage and like the bright colors and the robes and like the cool gimmicks to like mm -hmm. now you're like how can you relate your wrestling career over and like 
you look at Brock Lesnar, who just looked total beast. And it's like, who could fucking beat this guy? And it's like, if I could beat that guy, who could beat me then? So, like, that's where my mindset is. Did you ever get, did you ever go as a kid to, like, uh, no, all of them? Yeah, I was going since my mom said it. since I was in her stomach, apparently. <laughs> yeah, so apparently I've been going since then, since Jake the Snake coming out with a sneak and everything, because, like, yeah. she was a, she's a casual fan. She likes it, and naturally that's how I got into it. Uh, my brother, my older brother, was 10 year, 8 years older than me. He was older than all the pay per views, so I watched it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was, like, born into it. <laughs> that's awesome. That's great. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite uh favorite like pay-per-view man like back in the day back in the day pay-per-view um if you had to go back or like wrestlemania or there's so many there's so I many know. out there that are great w era to you know there's so like, many wrestlemanias it's great um or wrestling gonna... or ecw don't even, we gotta talk oh, about i it. love ecw the first one's my favorite Barely yeah. legal because i was barely legal able to watch it. i was like nine you know but like it was cool they come on and yeah. it's like ten blocks away from my house, and like the Dudley Boys in the ring, calling out like Perry Saturn and Cronus, and the the crowd just seems so much louder. And like right there, and they're doing like hardcore shit, and like they're cursing, and like this is fucking awesome for like a nine year old kid to watch people going through tables and bleeding because I don't see that. Yeah. Or WWE, you know what I mean? Like that was like, like me. That was like me at eighteen years old. I always say it on my podcast when I was eighteen mm-hmm. years old. I didn't really know what ECW really turned to, but yeah. I worked at a dollar store and Balls mm-hmm. Mahoney walked in. Oh shit, that's pretty awesome. Uh, another yeah. story is a uh, around the same age. Um, yeah. Super Fresh was on Temp and South, and I live. That's the area I live around. Mm-hmm. I'm walking to the store and on the corner of Temp and South, like at the first house. Like, Raven's sitting there on the step. Like, he's oh, a friend no, of We're friends. I'm like, yeah. hey, dude, can I get your autograph? Like, is that cool? Like, yeah, give me his autograph. Yeah, Paul did that I'm like, me. wait, he lives yeah. here? Like, he's like a wrestler. Like, how's that possible? Yeah, I didn't but know what he I was. I got it, like, OECW was on a different budget. But, like, I get it now. Like, I respect that. I'm like, this is awesome. Like, that's like, I didn't expect to see, like, somebody I watch on TV. Like, around the, like it was awesome. It was really cool. Yeah, I didn't realize who he was until I got, like, hey, can I have your autograph? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just started talking. Exactly. <laughs> Miss that dude. Miss him a lot. Exactly, man. Sorry about the communication. I think I lost. W, man. Yeah, barely legal. Wow. Let's. Yeah, that was like one of my. I like that. I remember that pay per view. I don't know. That was really cool. That was really cool. Then the hard, uh, hard. Uh, was it heat wave? Heat wave. They did heat wave. Yeah, so the. You know what really got me too? The Sabu Taz feuds were really good, man. When the lights would go off. And Taz is standing there, and it's that booze behind him. Like, I'm just like, damn, these guys are like, and same man's coming out with a beer and like smoking a cigarette. Like, I'm like, what is going on? And am I allowed to watch this? Is cool. Like, why is this person cursing? Like, what is going on? Like, this is like the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Man, man, I'll tell you what, every time I went to a show, he'd point me, pick me out of the crowd. Every really? time he would pick me out, hoist the beer up, chug it down my throat. Here's a cool I, thing, too, about Sandman, too. Yeah. My first South Philly show I'm on, I do a super crazy. Yeah. Um, last year, Sandman's booked on the same car as me. I'm like, how awesome is that? A guy I used to watch, you know? Now I'm on the same car as this guy. You know, so this is other things. Like, when you get into the business, that like you're like, that's on your bucket list. Like, yeah, I want to be on the car with these guys. I want to start working with these guys. I'm going to promo with this guy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, like, the more you graduate, the more as a wrestler – I yeah. started respecting the business even more. I started appreciating even more. I'm like, damn, I'm in the oppor- I have an opportunity with this guy. I have an opportunity with this guy. And it's just like And, and like, people really didn't realize like like jer- like all these other pro- like local promotions would, would have these guys like like Jersey All Pro Wrestling. Jersey. Really. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I was there for the what actually when Sam Man was there at the uh, <laughs> in Atlantic City. Mm-hmm. For the, uh, the oh gosh. Holy shit, there was a they had a show there. And uh, it was like the eighth year anniversary show, and, That's and awesome. Sam versus Danny the Demo- no New Jack showed up versus oh, Danny the Monster, better, man. <laughs> Danny the Monster, and Teddy Hart, oh Teddy and the you know like everybody. A cool guy too. Just to see. I was actually on the card with Teddy too as well at the same card. I was on the card with Teddy as well. <laughs> yeah. Teddy's actually a cool guy. He uh, yeah, unfortunately he's uh, behind bars, fans. He's a car trader right now. He got pulled yes. over in the wrong state, the wrong time, the wrong place. Shit happens in Virginia, I guess. Driving too fast or whatever. But um, Teddy's a cool guy, though. He um, is. Like, he came up to me after my match. Like, he was like, I like your size. I like what you're doing. I think you, gotta, you can go a long way in this business. You have a good look. 
he gave me all pointers. Like I just truly respected that. And a few weeks later, we actually got in contact with each other. Mm -hmm. he, he called me up. We had a conversation. Like real cool dude. Real cool dude. He's awesome, dude. I mean, I remember that first time, first time seeing him at Jersey All Pro. <laughs> it was like, wow. oh yeah. Jersey All Pro was was one of the meccas back then. Like when I first started watching into in the wrestling. When you when you see him and like Trent Acid and Homicide yeah, going at it and Carino. Trent, and Trent's a local. Trent was a local South Philly guy. I know he was. he was like he was cousins of one of my buddies that um I went to grade school with. Yeah. And it was so cool. Like in sixth grade, like Holy Communion, right? And like you get your sponsor, pick who your sponsor was. Gary Wolf was my buddy's uncle. So he, oh, that, Gary Gary Wolf was my buddy's sponsor yeah. in sixth grade, yeah. and like his cousin was trying to ask him, like that's so cool, like Gary Wolf from the Pitbulls, like that's great, you know, like that's insane. It's like let's like insane, right? it's like my coworker, he he's dating a Bam Bam uh, Scott Bigelow actually. Oh shit! Awesome. Yeah, Look at that, right? family, yeah. Freaking small worlds going on here, man. Is really, it? really small world. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, but, was uh, I gotta let you guys know my phone is at like five percent because I had it at thirty five percent. I didn't think it would like take away. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Let's get our plugs in right now. We're well. We're, I'm gonna we're gonna see you this weekend. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Or next weekend. The well, this weekend, weekend and next weekend. Yes. Um, I'm at. Boom! If everybody can see it across the screen tomorrow, it's an afternoon show. Um, three o'clock, two o'clock doors. I'll be smacking the shit around Chris Bradley. Um, hopefully he brings his girlfriend, Riley Madison, so I can smack the shit around her, too. Um, and it's South Philly, too. We're right down the street from the ECW Arena. So I think things will get a little hardcore in that match. That's a show you want to come to see. That's mm. your my, my trainer will be there. Kid Osborne. Yeah, I have to tell Chris Styles. You you have, and thinking of Stan Styles, ladies and gentlemen, you can't forget March 7th, the Intergender Bonanza. You're looking at the world champion right here. The main event, first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, in the world. This is a show you want to get tickets for now. VIP tickets are probably sold out. Message they are. Stand directly right now. VIP are probably sold out. However, message Stan, get your reserve tickets right now. First time ever, main event, 15 females, 15 men, in a Royal Rumble atmosphere for the World Championship title. That's going to be a show you don't want to miss. There's going to be a lot of first time ever happening in that show. It's going to be a wild and crazy show. It's going to be the best bonanza ever. And also, what would you like to say to your opponents if they are listening to this podcast tonight? All 29 of them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a threat. This is a spoiler. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Christian Ross, your full-time boss, you're looking at the new world champion. Thank you for being on it. Plug your – where can everybody find you on social media? Pretty much just find me on Facebook. That's pretty much the only one I use. <laughs> <laughs> but, um – yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just yeah, just follow the stuff I share. Um, anything I plug in my stories, um, I usually plug in my stories the location and companies of where I'm gonna be at next. Um, besides that, um, you guys can see me around. Um, I'm gonna be debuting a lot of new places soon. I'm gonna be debuting at the same place that I'm at. Come see me at H2O, definitely. Because H2O, it's going to be a lot of things on the uprise there. A lot of crazy matches. A lot of cool things coming there. You're going to watch out for H2O this year. Well, I want to say, Christian Ross, thank you for coming on to the podcast. Let's do this again. And oh, we'll do it. The man behind the camera, maybe will be joining us next time. How's thank that? you, man. You guys are ish. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Podcast City Network because he's he's doing it right there. He's doing the way thank he you guys. Does. Thank you guys for having me. It's definitely Absolutely. been a pleasure. Uh, yes. Awesome Friday night. Got me pumped for this weekend. Got me pumped for next weekend. Got me pumped for the weekend after. I know. It got me pumped it's for not, 2020. Like, you guys are freaking like, awesome. Like I see you every week almost on the show. I know, right? right, dude? I love seeing I you. I drag bro. Chrissy <laughs> out. I drag my Chrissy friend out. We just go. You know, yeah, we go, man. I'm with it, man. Come see if you kick ass. Yo, watch out this year. There's going to be some death matches with this guy. Watch out soon. You'll see him. Surprise Boy. us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, surprise us. We'll see him. Thank you for being yeah. on tonight, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your night. You too.